Hello everyone, Dan Fowler here, Red River Productions and the Imagination Institute. We are here on the Wix platform, that's W-I-X dot com, and uh, it is an alternative to WordPress and other systems out there. A lot more secure than WordPress, since WordPress is an open source. And I'm going to go through today and show how to navigate your blog, as well as to add blog elements to your website. So blog elements, they're just the pieces of a blog, like feature posts, uh, recent posts, gallery, archive stuff, and they can be separated out in the Wix format. So this here is a mock-up of a website for my my good friend and pal Fizz, who is a great musician, and this is his website, or at least a version, a back version of his website. And we're going to go in and show how he sets up his his page, but also I'm going to show you how how to integrate the blog and the blog elements. So this is just for demonstration purposes. It's not his actual site. So this is not going to make any changes to his site now, but it's just showing you uh, how you go through this process for you if you're wanting to change your Wix site and add a blog and be able to add in blog elements. Okay, so here we are on his homepage, and we are actually in the editor of Wix that has all these lines going across, these guidelines. So you'll see this as well. I'm going to scroll on over. You see his blog is in his navigation over here, which is great. So he's already got the blog set up. He can add blog posts at any time. And I'm going to actually go up and go right to that blog page because we're in the editor here, not actually on the web page. But click on blog. And it takes me to his blog item here. Now, this is totally out of, out of, out of character here, out of sync. We can actually move these elements around if we want. And I'm actually going to do that real quick right now. Okay, so I took a couple seconds there to move this over, all those elements. So they're kind of on the page where they would be normally on, on Fizz's website. So here they are. These are just uh, sample posts on this blog. So not to worry about that. This You can add in your items as much as you want, or however you want to do that. And first off, I'm going to show you how to add in a new blog post or edit an existing one. You go into your editor and you're on the blog page. You actually click on one of these elements. And if you're familiar with Wix, they're with modules and with um, uh, RSS feeds built in within these boxes here. And so all I need to do is click on one of these boxes and I get this little menu right here. And I can go ahead and say add and edit blog posts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Pops open a new window and it shows me the two posts that are here. These are sample posts on this site. And I can edit these. These little windows pop up. I can edit or view it or delete it totally. And I can go in at any time and edit a blog post that I have already created. I can, you know, change my title in here. You know, this, whoops, you know, have a, this is the title. <laughs> I can change whatever text that goes along with it, change the image, add more images if I want, insert a video. I'll let your imagination run wild on how you want to set up your blog posts. You can actually even create a link. You, know, you can create a hyperlink right here to the image. So if, there's, if you want people to click on this as like a button and then send them to a specific place on your website or someplace else, maybe you're selling tickets for an event or you want them to buy a CD or a T-shirt like Fizz does, you can have them click directly onto the, an image that has a hyperlink to it. If I clicked on that, I can send them to various places. A page within my uh, bottom of this page that we're on now, the top of the page, a page within my actual website, a web address that's outside of my website, an email address if I want them to email me, or to any kind of anchor text that's on, on the page too. Okay, so we're going to close that out. We'll let your heart's desire go on that and use your imagination on how you want to set up your blog posts. And obviously your content is yours. I can't tell you what your content is unless you want to hire us to be able to help you figure that out. And of course, you can delete the image at any time too. I'm going to leave it as is, just as a sample post, so you can just get the idea of the back-end technology, so you can use this to your heart's delight. All right, so I'm going to go back to our blog manager, and I'm going to discard the changes. There we go. So, and this one down here is actually a video post. I can edit these as well. So I've inserted a video, and this is actually a video thumbnail. But if I click on it, I can change the URL at any time to another YouTube video or a Vimeo video as well. Or I can, you know, actually go in here and put in embed code too if I wanted to. 
But YouTube and Vimeo are probably the best choices for your blog here. They're the most integratable within most platforms across the board, and both Vimeo and also YouTube are great viewing on mobile devices. You have to keep mobile devices in mind. People view your web page and your, your stuff on mobile devices more and more and more. So make sure that you're, you're using one of those two for the dissemination of your video content. Some people like other platforms because they just look better on the screen, but I can guarantee you that most people do not care. And you want to be able to reach the most people with the bigger platforms like Vimeo and YouTube, of course, is the 800 pound gorilla out there. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it as is, but I'm going to show you you can add video in there at will. All right, back to my blog manager. Disregard the changes. And over to the side here, these are all the ones that show I've got two published. I've got zero in draft, so I could be writing a blog post, get interrupted, and then be able to come back to it later as a draft and finish it off. I can even schedule posts. Like, I don't have to publish right away. I can do a series of blog posts for, let's say, the next month and have them all scheduled to come out on specific dates. So that's a pretty awesome feature. If you have a very busy schedule like myself, and most of you probably do, you can go in there and do, let's say you do a new blog post every single week. Maybe that's your schedule. Well, you can set all of those up for the month in one shot. You've got a couple hours, you're going to write out four blog posts with videos and pictures. You can schedule them here. You can also feature your posts. I'll show you why that's important in a minute. And then it shows all the posts that you have garbaged or put into the trash can. Tags as well. You can tag every single one of your posts with tag words. Or, or in an SEO standpoint, we're talking about uh, like SEO keywords. Like if your post is about an event or about music in particular or about uh, someone else's work or maybe it's entrepreneurship, whatever. Make sure you tag your posts as well. So in tagging, let me just click on one of these edit buttons here. Down here on the on the right hand side, it shows all the tags. You can type in whatever tags you want. So here's a video they've chosen, photo. I can type in, you know, let's say music, right? Great. And I can put in a couple tags there. I can put in, I think, up to five in here. Maybe there's more I can put in there. Wix is changing their system. It's getting better and better and better. So I love it. Uh, maybe you, you want to put in here, you know, event, because this happens to be a picture of an event called Imagination IQ. So there we go. So video, music, event. Those are tags associated with this post. So if people, as you get more and more blog posts, if people are wanting to search through your blog for specific items, specific things like events and what, what you've done in the past, maybe a, a person who's looking up, looking you up to hire you down the road, uh, these these tags are very important because they can search by keyword. Okay, so I'm going to update the post because I added those keywords, and voila. All right, so that's really the basic backend. If you've ever used blogs before, it's pretty straightforward on how to set those up. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. But what I really want to show you now is the the other elements, see, these blog elements, and why they how they can be used in the rest of your website why they're important, maybe they are important for you, maybe they're not, but I want to show them to you regardless. Okay, so this is your main custom feed right in here of all your blog posts. Here they are. So every time you have a blog post, it's going to pop in, boom, 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 down, down, as you scroll down the page. Right now we only have two because those are the only ones that are showing. And there's just, you know, filler text there for now. Obviously you can type in whatever you want to type in there. Now, featured posts, these are everything like we start. Remember, we featured those. You can have some posts featured, some posts not. But certain posts that you want to make sure that there's extra eyeballs on, you can feature them and star them. I know that you do that in the editor. When I was in the back in there, you're starring them. And they will show up here, kind of like in a, in a ticker. They'll flip through, kind of like a slider, like a, a video or a picture slider. They'll be sliding through the blog post that you have featured. And also, it'll show the recent posts in here. Again, if you want to have that here on your, on your blog page, you you can. It's here just to show you that. You know, an archive, basically, this will be all the text. It'll be textual archive of the dates of all your blog posts so people can see what, what you've done in the past months. 
And then all the can search by tags as well, too. There'll be the, the ability to search by tag. And all the different tags that you have ever used in all your posts will show up here in a long stream of words. So we only have a, a few in there. And so it hasn't pop, pop populated yet. But they'll all show up there. And I could click on any of those words. They become hyperlinks. And it will show me all the posts that have that particular tag. Say the tag is music. Since, you know, this is in music. If I clicked on the music tag, all the posts that he has tagged with that tag word of music will show up and I'll be able to check them out. Any, any, maybe I'll click on events. Any post that has been created that has the event tag in there will show up there. So it's a cool little feature there. And of course, following on social media. Now here is where beyond the blog page, remember we're on the blog page here, beyond the blog page where these separate elements can be very, very cool to use. So I'm actually going to go to his mock homepage here on Wix. And here we are. Very nifty. And he's got some placeholders in here. He's got some items here that are they're old blog posts that were pulled when we moved over to Wix. And they're, they're just text. They're just the normal text boxes you do within Wix and normal images here as well. But if you want to make these dynamic, meaning pulling from the RSS feed, the really simple syndication, that's what RSS stands for, really simple syndication. And if you want to pull from the RSS feed that is your blog, which every time you put on a blog post, you're actually adding to the feed. And that feed is now dynamic, which can be shared and populated in other places, including other places on your website. Wix makes it very easy to do that. We're going to come over to this add button here. So now that I've opened up this plus section here, it opens up a menu here. Some of you have probably already added text and images or picture galleries, etc. But if we scroll down, there's this thing called blog elements. So I'm going to go and click on that. So blog elements, these are all the separate elements that we were seeing in the blog on the blog page and a few extras that are not there as default. And those are the ones I want to bring your attention to. So I actually want to choose, I kind of like how this one looks, especially with the way his website is set up, is this posts gallery. Okay, I'm going to click on that. So there's a post gallery. Now this post gallery can uh, grow and be, now it pops open. Look, it shows the two posts. The titles are down here. You can kind of hardly see them because they're I'm on a dark, dark background and it's overlapping over here. And I can, just like an image or any other box in with the Wix, I can resize these things. Make them as big, small, whatever, to fit the design of my website. So I'm using those drag bars, and I'm making them bigger, smaller, wider, taller. However I want to do that. And over time, let me go ahead and click on this to show all the different kind of settings here. It shows me how many columns I want to have. So I like the two columns because he's got two columns here. So I can kind of mimic what he, what's going on here. Two columns. How many rows? I only want one row. Why is because I want the new post to be able to populate on top. So they're actually being, these ones are going to be pushed out, if you will, on this particular ticker, this particular photo, um, actually post gallery. So only one row. So as a new post comes in, it'll push off the one that's off to the side. You push that one off and it'll bring in the new one. And so it'll never show me more than two because I got two columns, one row, okay? And I can show the dates, I can show the, the titles and all of that and the date format and the horizontal format. I can choose to have the title on top. Now he has the titles on top here in text format, so I may wanna go ahead and, and just do that. So why don't I change the layout? See this little image here? It shows that I'm highlighted on a layout of text underneath the photo or the video. And I'm going to choose to flip it onto the top, so I'm going to click this. It flips it, puts it on top. It's kind of like what's going on over here. So I'm going to just say, you know what, let's go ahead and take all of this text and just delete it. I'm going to delete it all out. Not to worry, this is a mock-up site, so this is not deleting anything off of his site right now. So and when you play with this too, I highly suggest if you're in Wix making, if you're new to an element, making a copy of your site, you can duplicate your site within Wix that is not uh, within your hosting package, but it's a duplicate site and you can play around with some of these elements without destroying the site that you currently have. 
Now I'm going to I'm dragging and dropping this element, which is the post gallery. I'm going to make it the size of this section here, maybe a little bit bigger, about right there. Okay, so I kind of like that. And there's this piece of text I forgot. Buying the new book. We're going to bring you him up a little bit here. So there we go. It's the title of the post. And of course, the image that goes with it. In this case, it's a video. Now, when I publish this and people come to the home page, they are going to see the two most recent posts from my blog. And if they click on either one, it will take them directly to the blog page. Let me show you that in the preview. If we go up to preview here, kind of opens up a preview menu so you can see how it would look on a web page. We'll scroll down. There we are. I'm going to go and click on this particular post. It becomes a hyperlink. And it takes me directly to the blog page to that particular blog post. So I can watch the video, read the text that goes with it. I can add a comment if I want and see the other blog posts that are available there. Or go back to the home page because I wanted to check more stuff out. Same thing with this one. Any of these blog posts, click on there, boom, goes to the blog page, up, oh, shows me the image, that exact blog post, and there's the other resources to get attached to other posts too that are available. Now you can update and manage your blog however you want. You can even change the settings so this these uh, titles for the blog posts are bold or different colors, things like that. So you can change those settings. I'm not going to go through all of that because that's something that is a subjective thing. You can make, like I've made these boxes be see-through. You can make them have a color so they just pop out more. That's all up to you. But if I click on here, I can go and click on the settings. Click on settings and here it pops open. And I can kind of play with, with all of this stuff here. Or I can go and click on, you know, customizable fonts. Here we are. I want to change fonts and change the color. Like, all right, whoops, I went off of that. Sorry about that. There's the box styles. So I'm going to go back to my customized fonts. So I'm clicking up on the font. I want to customize the font. Um, I want it to be, you know, maybe a big. I want it to be big and bold. Boom. Okay, great. I can make it big and bold. Maybe I want to customize it over here and change it to some wild, like a red color or whatever color I want. Green. It's up to me. And it's up to you on your blog post. And you can even customize even further saying, I like this size, but I, you know, I want to make it a little smaller so it fits on one line. And I want to make it bold. Oh, it doesn't fit on one line. So let me bring it down a little bit more. There we go. Voila. I'm click OK. And I can do that to each and every single element. And it actually is dynamic across the board for all your other posts. So there's the there's the date. It looks a little small now, so I'm going to customize the date. And I'm going to make it be, oh, heading small. A little bit bigger there. I'm going to customize it. Let's make it a little bit bigger at 20 and bolt it out. Wonderful. Okay. And okay. So there it is. Now, if I go back to my blog, which is, let's go back to our preview here. I go back to just the blog and see all the blog posts. It should be. Refresh here. And we're in the editor here, so sometimes things that you do on the dynamic platform within blogs don't automatically open up, but they're there. They are there. And if you had if you ever closed out if you ever closed out your um, I reloaded, I hadn't saved yet. So let's go ahead and move this element. Move this over here, delete all this again. Um, if you ever go in here and it's, you're not seeing the, the updates right away. You can always just save your work. You don't have to publish it. You could. I would suggest publishing it, though, too. Publish it, and then close out the editor, and then come back in, especially when you're working on the blog, because some of that dynamic content doesn't populate immediately, like right in the editor, and sometimes it needs to refresh the entire thing. And by closing it out like this, I go ahead and publish. And then I'm just going to close out the editor. And then coming back, now I'm back on my Wix here and going say, go back and into my site and reopening back up, it resets everything. So it's not pulling from any kind of old content that you had up there or you know Wix had up there by default. Okay, so there's all my stuff. So let's go and try this again. We're going to go back to, um, 
to go back to our blog page. Here we go. Go change our settings again. Uh, it moved back over because I didn't save it. Let me go ahead and move that back. Okay, so here we are on the blog page here. I've removed some of the other elements just so we're focused here on just the custom feed here. We're going to go ahead and edit this. And we want to, we can edit the text, how it shows up. If I click on any of these text boxes here, I can customize the fonts. This is from the entire, entire deal. I want to make this big. I want to make customize it. It's probably a little too big, as we found out before. It's probably just good review for me to show this to you. I'm going to make it red. I'm going to make it bold. Voila, it fits on one deal. And if you notice, it's dynamic. So any, I'm customizing all fonts and all titles within your blog. So make sure you're choosing something that is something that is, goes universal with your theme. Red doesn't really go universally with his theme too much, but I can don't, you know, maybe do this gold color here. That's a little bit better. Click OK. I'm going to go on into the, let's see, the, the date here. I think it's a little small. So let's customize the date. Let's pick heading small. Let's customize. Let's make it bold. And I think that works. Let's make it up to 20 just to make even it off. OK, OK, voila. And I'm going to go ahead and publish. Boom. Publish that up. Voila. Remember, I'm publishing to a mock site. This is not his actual site. So, you know, we're not messing up his site at all. This is an actual demo site just so we can see how it all works. So here's this. Now, if we go back to our home page where we added that element, so it's pulling from our recent posts. Remember what we did there? I'm going to go back to his home page. And we scroll down here. Now again, this is a dynamic thing, so it's probably not showing up in the editor. But we have published this, and I believe, I believe, I believe, it should be showing up here at this demo site here. So let's go take a look. There we go. So here's our recent post. Voila. And if I go to those recent posts, click on any of them, this is the actual quote-unquote web page, it brings me right to it. There we go. And you can do that too with your stuff, with your web page, with your Wix information. Just refresh there. Go back to the editor. Close out of this. So that's a cool little blog element you can use. Now, if you don't like this particular blog element, you can always go back to the plus sign, blog elements, and play around with others. There's a cool ticker one, which is just one blog post that shows. There's the image and all your information. And it just shows one, and it's like it's like a, a scroller, like a picture scroller. If I show on preview, it'll animate it here. So look, just like a scroller would, shows through all the blog posts. I can scroll manually, or it'll do automatically. You may like that one better. If you want it more static, this is the, the one that I chose is probably the best one to go with. And like I said, every time you add a new blog post, it'll show up in here. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put in a new blog post and see what happens. So I roll back over to my blog. I want to add a new blog post. Here it is. And I'm going to do a new post. And let's say this is a cool post. And I could put in any kind of content here. My cool post. And I'm going to add a actually insert an image. I'm going to choose an image that I've got handy here. Let's choose one from our Imagination IQ game recently. Voila! There's a game picture. I can add a add another image if I want, or I can change this image. I can make it a hyperlink to a web address. Let's say it's going to go to ImaginationIQ.com. Voila! opens in a new window, boom. So now this whole image is now a button. And you guys are pretty familiar with all that stuff, but there's my post. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna tag it with uh, event. I've used this one before, but there's one of my tags. I'll go and push publish. Publishes it out. There's my cool post. And there's the image thumbnail, boom. Close that out. Voila, there it is. It populated onto the blog page, shows up there. Now, it should be showing up as well on our recent post blog ticker. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's publish real quick. Just so it's saving our work. Close out of that. 
And let's go back to our home page. Voila. So as I said before, the original that, that next post pushed out the other post. It pushed out that last post of the video. So it's only the most the two most recent posts show up here. Shows the text and whatever else in here. Now, if we want to change our settings, like on our settings for this item, we can actually show you know, the length of the title. We can have we can show more. We can make it a bigger uh, date space. We can show more spaces for the title, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We can make all that happen. We can even filter posts that come through here too. So if I were to filter in here, like any post coming through here that I have a certain tag to them, we could do that too. But if you're just wanting to show recent posts, this is the way to do it. Boom. And you want to make it quick, short, and to the point. So the title, the title is key to be just attractive and like, oh, yes, I want that. And they want to click on it. It makes it all hyperlinked. If you show in the preview again, they're hyperlinked right to the blog post. If I click on that, it takes me to the blog, right to that post. Okay, so that concludes the tutorial here on how to use Wix, how to set up the blog, how to create blog posts, and how to create cool elements within your web page, whether it be in your home page or any other page. We happen to use the home page here and be able to pull dynamically from your blog RSS feed to show up here. So every time you create a new blog post on your blog, it will show up here on your home page as well making it easy and accessible to anybody that comes to your homepage. Thank you. I'm Dan Fowler. I'm on Red River Productions and the Imagination Institute. And hopefully you'll have great fun editing your Wix site.